what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel um on this episode of uh this build i've been uh continuing working on putting the floor in here i've got the uh i've got a good majority of the floor welded in i wanted to show you where i'm at um i'm probably not going to show a whole lot of what i'm doing on the floor just because i don't want to bore you guys but <clears throat> i'm going to get the i'm going to show you what i've got on the floor so far I've got it a good majority of the way welded in. I've got the firewall about 70% of the way welded in. And I've got the floor welded in except for in the corners. That's where the firewall and where the floor meet the corners uh, is where I'm still having to fit. But once I get that fit, I'm going to start test fitting the uh, dashboard and the center console and figuring out what I'm going to do for the interior. I know it's a really long shot away before I get to the interior, but I'll, I want to make sure that the pedals and everything are going to work because if I need to readjust anything now, I need to do it before I put the motor in here and I can't get to the firewall. So that's why I'm going about it this direction. So let me flip this around and show you what I'm talking about. So currently I have the floor welded in all the way around and I've got it welded all the way around here. And then I've welded these seams. So I've welded right here and right here. And I did the same over there. I still have to finish fitting the corner. So you can see in the corner right there. So from about right there to right there is not fit. And the same thing over here from about right here up into the corner and to about right there. So I just got to work on fitting that corner. The rest of the floor is fit in and welded in and ready to go. So once I finish fitting that, which it'll probably take me the rest of the day to finish fitting this. Um, but once I get that finished, then I'll start uh, grinding. I'm, I'm not probably not going to grind anything down until I test fit the um, the dashboard and the pedals and everything. Because if I've got to move anything, there's no sense in doing grinding to clean this stuff up and then have to freaking drill something apart and or cut something apart and move it. So I'm going to wait until I do all my test fits and then I'll grind everything down. All right, just to give you a quick update, I did a whole lot of cutting and fitting, but I've got the entire side over here completely fit welded in i mean it looks rough i still got to clean it up and then this is just a drain hole uh i've got a cover for it right here so that same thing over there i've got a drain hole there but now i'm going to work on fitting that corner in but this corner is completely welded in ready to rock and roll all right so i just got done finish welding in all this so now i've got both sides completely welded in filled in so now i'm going to start mounting the clutch pedal brake pedal dashboard and uh see how everything fits all right so i've discovered my first issue with the uh dashboard and pedals and stuff um the pedal the gas pedal which you're not gonna be able to see i'll show you later but the gas pedal is too close to the brake pedal i'm gonna have to scoot it over to the right that's not that big of a deal i can move that pretty easy or i can adjust the brake pedal over whatever but the big issue is the heater box, the original Veloster heater box won't clear with this transmission tunnel to get low enough to go back into its original location. And the support brace right here is hitting on the tunnel because the tunnel is a lot wider and a lot taller. So I'm going to more than likely strip this frame down and get the frame to where it will fit. And then I'll start fitting the Genesis airbox onto here. I'll have to modify whatever I got to modify to make it work. And uh, yeah, this could take a while. So I'm going to work on this before I continue working on putting the motor in here. I, I need to make sure that all this is going to work. Steering wheel is going to bolt in and all that before I go too crazy with the front end. So yeah, fun times. Okay, so I've completely stripped the dashboard reinforcement frame. Uh, removed the heat and air box. I cut off the bottom of this so that I could get it to go over top of this uh, transmission tunnel. And it looks like everything's going to work as far as uh, bare minimum. I'll be able to put the Veloster dash back in here. Um, but I was looking and it looks like these uprights or the, the crossbar is the same from the Genesis to here. But these uprights right here for the front mount on the, on the dash is different. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut and section the two dashboards and glue them together and make one dashboard out of the two. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, this is still just me brainstorming right now, but that's the way it's working out right now. So 
Now, as far as the gas pedal goes, let me... So the gas pedal is actually supposed to clip in right here and sit right there. And you can see how close the gas pedal and the brake pedal are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relocate it over and that gives me about uh, two inches. Whereas before, that's only half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. So that's gonna give me about two inches of clearance, which should be good. My clutch pedal's a little crooked. Uh, I'll have to mess with that when I get it lined up. Uh, I just gotta adjust the bracket up here. But it looks like everything's gonna work pretty good. Uh, that actually feels pretty freaking good with that amount of spacing, so I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that. So what I'm wind up, gonna wind up doing is removing this plate, moving it over, and then welding it back in. That way this can mount right here in the corner, as close to the corner as I can get it. So I'll move it over as far as I can and then get it to mount right there. And once I do that, I'll keep, I'm gonna keep modifying the, the dash and figuring out how to get the uh, Genesis um, heat and air box to work with the fresh air vent for the Veloster and the dashboard for the Veloster or the dashboard frame and then I'll have to modify and get all the wiring. So the fuse panel on the Genesis is facing this way. So I'm gonna have to redo it and make it to where the Genesis fuse panel faces this way. Redo my wiring to make sure everything works out. So this is gonna take a little bit of time, but uh, I gotta make sure all this is gonna work before I go too crazy with the front. Um, I mean, my most important thing that I needed to do was check these pedals and I figured that out so I am gonna mess with this for a little bit more and uh, see if I can get how the center console and the dash are gonna meet up to each other. And uh, I'll go from there. But right now I currently have the seat installed and it's it's comfy, it's really comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna go get the center console and set it in there and bring the Veloster dashboard up here and see how it's gonna sit with the, de with the uh, center console out of the Genesis. So here it is with the dashboard and the center console in here. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make these join together. What I was thinking about doing is basically cutting the center of this out and putting the uh, Genesis center of the dash in there. I don't know. I may wind up cutting the freaking Genesis dash on the sides and making it fit in here. I, I haven't decided yet. I'd really like to use the Genesis dash, but I don't think it's going to fit. So I'm going to have to figure out how to modify that center console to mount up with the dash. All right. So after fitting the dashboard and checking the pedals and everything, and then installing the master cylinder right here, um, it looks like that's going to interfere with my steering shaft and it's going to interfere with the back of the head. So what I think I'm going to do is, so this is bolted in in a circle right here in the center of this. I'm going to move it over to this circle, mount the brake booster here. I'll have to shorten this hose up a little bit, but it'll still hook up to the, to the master cylinder reservoir right behind that support. So this will essentially be sitting over here in the corner. And then judging off of the air box, because I can't, I can't get the Veloster air box to fit because of the transmission tunnel. I may wind up having to cut this out and putting the uh, Genesis firewall in here, which is why I didn't want to put the motor in here until I figured out the dashboard. So I may be cutting all this back out and putting a different, different firewall in here. Cause I will need, where did I put it? Here it is. Cause I'll need both of these. So let me sit this up here. So I'll need this hole for the wiring and this hole for the wiring and then these for the heater, uh, for the heat and air. So that will essentially bolt in just like, or weld in just like that in place of that plate. I uh, hate, hate that I freaking cut it up, but like I said before, this is a learning experience. I gotta figure it out on the fly. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna relo relocate this over into the corner. Should move it over a good four or five inches. That should give me enough clearance for the for the back of the head so it won't hit the master cylinder. 
and then I should be able to put the firewall in from the Genesis to get the heating and air work. All right, guys, so I've got a humongous mess on my hands because I'm trying to figure out how to do this dashboard. So this is the dashboard out of the Veloster. I've taken the vents out, taken the front corner off of it, taken the airbag out. There's the front dash for the uh, Genesis, and I've taken the entire rear frame out of it, taken the duct work out of it. Because what I want to try and do is I really need this center part, all of this. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to try and get that to where it fits onto here. But I've already run into one issue, and that is that the defrost on the Veloster is actually made in. It's formed to be part of the dash. Now on that one, it bolts in. Um, so I'm going to keep playing around with this. I don't. I honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do about this, but I've got to figure this out in order to keep moving forward. So I'm gonna keep screwing around with this. I mean, I've got a humongous mess up here. This is all Hyundai and, uh, it's all Hyundai parts, Genesis and Veloster parts. There's my two heating and air units, dash pad, dash pad, dash frame, duct work, duct work, dash frame. So yeah, fun times, fun times. Okay, so while I have the dash removed, I wanted to show you what my thoughts are on the brake booster. So the brake booster is mounted right here, obviously, currently. And that's what my distance on my pedals are right now. But if I move my brake booster over roughly to here, and get it to pitch down a little bit, get it to pitch where it would, that would actually move my brake pedal over to where it should be and then I wouldn't have to move the gas pedal. I could actually leave the gas pedal where it's supposed to, where it's originally at. So I'd be able to put this, if I can get the damn thing to line up, I can get that to sit right there and then have my brake pedal essentially right there instead of where it is currently. And that would put my pedals pretty evenly spaced I think that's what I'm going to wind up doing. So I'm more than likely going to wind up... It's going to be a lot of work. But what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to wind up cutting this, the whole recess for it, and I'm going to move it over. Because I need to have it at that angle so that I can have the pedal kick down the way that it is. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to take this entire piece right here and just shift it over and re-weld it in and uh go from there but that's that's going to be my approach to get the pedals working out correctly so i'm not going to use the original veloster pedal I'll, I'll probably use the veloster uh bracket because what i'll probably wind up doing is moving this over here so that i can actually mount the bracket up here and uh use that as a stabilizer because i can just unbolt this one and bolt that one on there uh, or i can make I might be able to use that bracket and just cut the piece off the Genesis. Um, but, I mean, this has to get dropped down and set back. So if I get it sitting exactly how that brake pedal is and just get it sitting exact right next to the clutch pedal, I think that'll give me enough room to do what I need to do. And then I can, I can put the freaking Genesis... Uh, uh, heating and air in here and then I don't have to modify any of the hoses for that um, it's just a matter of getting everything to fit in the dash and that's what I'm trying to figure out right now so I hate that I welded all this stuff back in but again I had to do this in order to figure out the correct way to do this so it's it's trial and error at this point hopefully I'll be able to figure everything out and then if I need to remake anything I'll just cut out whole panels and redo the entire panel with fresh metal just so I don't have a bunch of patches all over the place. But right now, this is the path that I'm taking. What I'll probably wind up doing is figuring out exactly where the heat and air unit's going to mount. So I'll get the I'll get the um, frame for the dashboard mounted, and then I'll set the heat and air box in there and figure out where it needs to sit. And then I'll ma mate the uh, firewall from the Genesis up to the back of the heat and air unit figure out where it needs to go on here and mark it out. And then I'll cut this out 
as at one time and then i'll just save the piece that i need for here and move it over and weld it in and then patch weld everything else over here and i mean at this point it is what it is i gotta i gotta find a way to make this work and this is so just a hodgepodge of all of the genesis parts and the veloster parts that i have a feeling i'm gonna run into this a couple times so um, but i had to do what i had to do I, it had to be welded back in to figure this out so now it's on to the next step all right everybody i was going to continue working on this thing uh trying to get the firewall finished and get the uh, brake pedal moved over and get the dash fitting and everything but it is getting ready to storm like there is no tomorrow out here so i think i'm going to end the video right here um when i pick up next ne on the next video I'll be uh, doing the rest of the modifications that I have to do to the dashboard to get it to fit into the car. And I'll also continue doing the firewall modifications to get the brake pedal where it needs to be and the brake booster where it needs to be. Start running the wiring for the dash and just make sure all that stuff's gonna fit before I continue on to the front end. So I'm hoping by the end of the next video, um, I should have the, the entire interior figured out as far as how the dashboard and the center console and all that's gonna work heating and air and all the wiring. And if all that's done uh, by the end of the next video, then the following video will be the start of getting the uh, front frame rails put in here and getting the engine uh, put in here. So hopefully uh, things go smooth with uh, getting this dashboard and the uh, frame, or the, uh, the dashboard and the firewall fixed. And uh, hopefully we'll be onto the process of actually setting the engine and transmission into the car within the next two three weeks so hopefully you guys will continue to come back and uh, check out the build as it progresses uh, i know this is a very slow going process um, but can't rush it uh, i got to do it slow and steady make sure everything gets uh, done correctly and as as safe as possible uh, so that i don't have problems in the future so uh but anyway like always if y'all like what you saw in this video or if you're enjoying the build or anything like that, please like, comment, share, subscribe, let your friends see what I'm doing and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I do have um, three new shirt designs that are on my website available um, currently. Uh, I've got one for the Audi, or actually I've got two for the Audi. One, I'll just have you guys look at it to see what they say. but. One of them has uh, got a picture of the Audi with a couple, or two, both of them for the Audi have pictures of the Audi, two different Audis with different sayings. And then I've got another one with another saying, and I'm working on a shirt for the Veloster. Um, I don't think that I'll have any shirt designs for the Veloster done until I get the engine physically mounted into the car because I don't want to sell anything associated with the Veloster project until I get more uh, work done to it. Because right now, um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out here that are probably saying this is never going to get finished and this, that, and the other. I, I'm, I hear it, so I'm not worried about it. It is going to get finished, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to offer any products for the Veloster uh, or associated with the Veloster build until I get the engine physically bolted into the car, get the frame rails in there and all that. So, But anyway, hope you guys check out the uh, next video in the series, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great one.